Much hasn't changed and I hope it never does. At the root of the pot is my heart and I share to bear witness. We build pot share with our hands. My poor dad, bless his heart, honored all of my demands. We spent days in this place. You could see tired in his face, but he finished what he started while I pleaded, begged, and bartered. A few months later, he had a stroke. I thought I did it to him with all the work. We thought he built future pot shares for me, but realized this is the last one. See, daddy's getting old, so alvina has got to step up. This was his last labor of love, but he set me up. His health, my dollars, this is the work of a father's daughter. My name is Alvina Beck, and I'm the owner of Podshare. Welcome to Cribs by TV4. Just kidding. This is Podshare. I'm going to take you back and show you what a pedestrian tour looks like. We give this to every single person that checks in. Come on back, take a look. Podshare is a pod hotel. The idea is social travel. Meet new people, have new experiences, try new foods, listen to new music. You are encompassed with all these different people and their, and their living situations are like your living situations because you're sharing, you're pod sharing. So these are the pods. This is the design that makes the pod share. It's custom built. The way the pod share is built is they're facing each other and there are no curtains. We want you to face each other. The actual pods are made up of like four main features. It's a TV, LED nightlight, personal outlets, and it's a memory foam mattress. We think that that's all you really need. For minimalist travel, you really don't need much more than that. At Podshare Hollywood, we've got 10 pods. This is our pod map to show who's staying, how long, when they're leaving. So, cause sometimes you'll connect with somebody and you don't know when they're leaving cause you just didn't ask. This will give you an opportunity to say, okay, I got one last day with this person. This is the name of every single person that stays here. However you call yourself, whether it's Tommy Boy or your actual name, Liam, along with a quote. And the idea of that is you may never meet the person that stays in your pod, but they left you a message. And it's supposed to be like a mantra, a motto, or just some sort of inspirational idea. You're supposed to lay in that pod and kind of think on it and be like, it's freaking cool. At Podshare, we've created a membership system. We've given a number. These numbers stay with you forever. So when we open up future pod shares, that number is like your bingo number. You come back, you're a VIP, a very important pedestrian. I was born in Moscow at that time. It was the USSR. We emigrated to Brooklyn, New York. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Эльвина. Я родилась в Москве и жила в Бруклине. I grew up in Livingston, New Jersey, after my folks had made enough money to get us out of Brooklyn, because it was kind of like cockroach infested, like hood rat side of town. When I was a kid back in Brooklyn, I used to sell anything and everything I can. Um, I used to go to Costco and get Snicker bars and sell them in the cafeteria to all my friends. And then anything my parents had in the house, I would sell. My parents were like, where is this or that? And I'd be like, oh, I had a garage sale. And I'd sell it for like cheap, like like not even anything really like valuable or, or but I mean, I loved selling. Like business has always been a part of me since I was a kid. Here's a funny story. My mom would never let me have slumber parties ever. And I saw everybody get so close be and I couldn't get there. My mom just wouldn't let me. I couldn't sleep over at anyone's house. Male, female, doesn't matter. I could not sleep until I left the, until I left the nest at 18. My first startup out of college was a fail. It's called, it was called My Location Scouts, and I made the unfortunate uh, decision to bring on a partner. And I had to learn that the hard way. During Pepperdine, my junior year, I got a chance to go abroad and work for this amazing lawyer in London. She's a Rhodes Scholar, and you know, like Hillary Clinton, Bill Clinton, Rhodes Scholars, like a smart woman. And I worked for her, but I worked overtime, so she paid me. And with that money, I went and I traveled six countries by foot, by myself. I hit Austria, like Berlin, uh, Greece, like everything. I met so many people, dude. I wanted to see if I could survive on my own, and I didn't have a lot of money, right, just what she paid me, so I was like, let's do this. So when I came back to the States, it took me a little while to figure out that something like Podshare is what, what was natural. But it makes sense with, with not being able to have slumber parties when I was a kid to traveling by myself. I was like, dude, pod share. Pod share makes absolute sense. It's a slumber party every single night. You know, you can do PB and J's in your in PJs. It was ingrained in my system because it was something I never had growing up. I was renting out apartments. I would get an apartment, I would furnish it, and then I would rent it by the night. Pod is like a capsule, right? It's kind of like a cradle. I wanted to do like a wooden cradle. And then share, it is what it is. Like you're sharing a common space with others. So it's a pod that you sleep in and you're sharing it. When Podshare hit its one year anniversary, I was ecstatic. We had 1,000 members that came through our doors and we got a bunch of good write-ups too, like on Yelp, five out of five stars, but then also CBS Local wrote us up as best of LA. 10 years from now, there better be six pod shares, one in every major American city. And my hopes is that we become like the it destination for the social traveler. 
passion drives me every single day. Like if you ask my friends, I'm a total workaholic and it's come to this point where it's like invite Alvina here or there, but I can't because I'm doing work and they're like, it's okay. One day, you know, we know you'll, you'll be, do something really great with that and then you can all take us out. And it's, that's cool, like being the workaholic of the group of, of my girlfriends. I'm Alvina and that's my story.